before we move forward, I'd like to read a portion of the actual ketubah that Corey and Justin signed last week in Arizona. We pledge to cherish and sustain each other, meeting life's trials with quiet strength and courage, and meeting life's blessings with wonder, joy, and laughter. We will grow as individuals and delight in an elegant freedom born from mutual respect. Through all time and space, there will be no story like ours. one. I knew you were the right one. We all knew you were the right one. You are an angel. You are good for him and it makes us so happy to see how happy the two of you are. Justin, we're very proud of you and the man that you've become. Sign on the dotted line in the hands of authority. Our story began as a friendship but with a deeper connection that couldn't be ignored. They say a lot in life is timing, and in hindsight, I think that is absolutely true. Life with you has not only been an adventure, but it has come naturally and easy. how over the years you have always stayed true to your fun, quirky, passionate, and adventurous self. What's most important is that you have found someone who appreciates and mirrors those exact qualities in yourself. This is the tough part. Um, Corey, our 10 years of friendship have taught me so much. You're quite possibly the most genuine, open-hearted, compassionate, selfless, and honest bougie Billy I have ever met. You are the most caring, generous, genuine, kind person I know and I'm so blessed to have shared such a large part of my life with you. Even as we have aged and with thousands of miles between us, I feel closer to you than ever. Celebrating each other's weddings just six months apart is a true highlight to our friendship, but I think it's easy to say with you and Justin, your best years are yet to come. One thing I know for sure is that he will literally do anything for his friends and those he loves and Corey is by no means any different. I see the way Justin looks at you like you are his whole entire world. Whenever I'm around these two, they're either laughing at each other hysterically or crying from laughing too hard. As mentioned before, Justin, your judgment and success is unparalleled. I think Corey is exemplary of that. I first met Justin sophomore year with Corey at a friend's house. Their chemistry, disguised with friendship at that time, was undeniable. They just seemed to get each other. It was so natural, so easy, and you both just lit up when you were around each other. safe to say the best thing I ever did was send you a Facebook message back in 2007. You can't cry yet. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what kind of wild ride I was in store for. Corey, you've been the love of my life for over a decade now. I always knew we would be together. I just knew it. You still give me butterflies and I am complete knowing that you're my wife. You are the most amazing person, and we have the best times together. 
I promise to always love you with all of my heart. I promise to do my best to make you the happiest girl in the world. I promise to always make you my priority, and I promise to love you more tomorrow than I do today. Waiting patiently From where riches flow My heart is sure to follow Over here It can see much clearer What you wanted Was always only what we needed Won't give up Everything we have and let the new begin Won't give up, won't give in Take everything we have and let the new begin Everything about our journey has taught me something and holds a special place in my heart. Many here see you as this wild, crazy, and at times immature person. <laughs> but I see you for so much more. You are thoughtful and kind. You are spontaneous and always down for an adventure. I know I can be indecisive at times, especially when it comes to choosing what I want to eat for dinner. But the quickest and easiest decision I ever made was becoming your wife. wait to see what life has in store for us and I am so happy to share this weekend with all of you our closest friends and family who I know traveled so far to be here it is not easy getting here and we cannot thank you enough without you this weekend would not be what it is